My name is Roger Lubeck, and I'm going to talk to you about writing a novel in 30 days. This is a workshop on the National Novel Writing Month, NaNoWriMo. This session is being brought to you by California Writers Club. The California Writers Club is one of the oldest and largest writers clubs in America. We have a proud heritage going back to 1909. We're organized into local branches, and the club has over 1,600 members in 22 branches spread across the state of California. Our mission is to provide education and support for writers in our communities. Our motto is Writers Helping Writers. If you're interested in more information about Cal Writers, California Writers Club, go to calwriters.org. This session is also being sponsored by California Writers Week. And in this, the legislature in California recognized through our efforts as a club that the third week in October would be named California Writers Week and celebrate the, the thousands of writers uh, who've published in California. So this program is about National Novel Writing Month. NaNoWriMo. NaNoWriMo is a 501c3 nonprofit organization that provides tools, structure, community, and encouragement to people to find their voices, create um, uh, uh, creative goals, achieve creative goals, and build new worlds on and off the page. The program began as a group of friends in 19. 99 trying to write a novel in 30 days which they did in July. The next year they created a website and invited others to join them on, in November to write a novel in 30 days. By 2005 the program had become an international event and a nonprofit organization was established. To date uh, almost 800,000 novelists have produced over 367,000 novels. I started the National Novel Writing Month program in 2004. It was in the middle of the month, and I'd heard about the program on national public radio. In 20 days, I wrote 70,000 words while I was working full time and had to travel for Thanksgiving. To date, I've officially written 17 novels totaling over a million five thousand words. And this doesn't count the, the rewrites and revisions needed to self-publish 10 of those 17 novels. The National Novel Writing Month program is fairly simple. Here's how it works. You go online. You set up an account and complete a profile, creating a dashboard. In October, you give your novel a title. This can be changed, but it starts the program officially for you. In the process, you can select a region, like where you want to write. I'm in Sonoma, California. In October, we encourage you to prepare for the event but you don't start writing until November 1st, and you have to stop writing on September 30th. Here's an example of the login page. It's fairly simple. If you go to nanorimo.org, uh, you will find uh, an easy sign up, and um, it's a very simple process to become a member of the group. And then you get a dashboard, which provides a profile of you, shows your different writing of projects, awards you um, um, stickers and prizes for accomplishments, and provides all sorts of resources for writers. The program works on an honor system. No writing counts before November 1st. You can plot and plan and outline, but nothing you write can be counted towards your 50,000 words. But you can always use it later as you finish your book. 
To be a winner, you need to write 50,000 words in 30 days. That's, that's 1,667 words a day. That isn't really a lot. Now, as you write, you can earn badges for writing, you can chat with other writers, and you can take advantage of hundreds of resources that are uh, available on the site and sponsors of different kinds of programs and uh, rewards and incentives for writers. You can also go to local write-ins where other writers with you will try to write as much as they can, say, in an hour or a day. And you can also participate online in write-ins. Here's my advice. In October, do your research. Figure out the setting and a period, maybe the language. Make sure you decide on one style manual, for example, the Chicago style manual. Um, you don't want to mix different writing styles. I always review at least the fundamental rules of grammar, particularly commas, other punctuation. Near the end of the month, I start to develop story ideas. I might work on what is the conflict in the story or what characters will there be. Maybe I plan an opening scene or even work on an opening line. In November, I follow the rules. Uh, and I write every day, even if it's only a paragraph. And I log my word count daily, and they provide you a graph. It's recommended that you do no major editing. Now, I'm an experienced writer, and I have always edited as part of my writing process. So I edit a little bit as I go, but I edit like at the beginning of the writing day or at the end of the day. But I don't do any major editing while I'm writing. That can be very distracting, particularly to a new writer. And I delete nothing. If I hate it, I just move it to the end of the book, if you will, and I'll discard it later, but I keep it so I keep my word count. I do spell and grammar checking because it's easier to do it each day than to do it all, all at once at the end of 30 days and 50,000 words. That's up to you. It's very important that you learn and follow basic grammar, punctuation, style, and formatting rules. These errors plague you later if you make them. And um, if you learn to avoid them, it doesn't slow you down or stop you from writing. That being said, never give up. Even if you've got 20,000 words to write in one day, you might be able to do that because people have. So even if you finish short, you've started a novel, but never give up. Now, if I haven't convinced you why to do this, let me give you some reasons. As a writer, deadlines help. Pressure helps writers, at least most writers. For me, it establishes a routine when I start to write, when I finish. I write a first draft in 30 days, and then I really will edit perhaps up to 11 drafts. I like NaNoWriMo because it allows me to try a different style of writing or a different genre each year. So I've written crime, I've written westerns, I've written kind of a romance, I've written two military novels, and, and all of that is fun for me because it allows me to expand as a writer. The great thing about NaNoWriMo is that there are many writers in it and you can find a community of writers like you. And in fact, they allow you to identify writing buddies so that you can keep up on their progress. And if you're competitive like me, you can compete to see who's writing the most. In every region, there are regional events that you can attend and there are online resources. There are sponsors that give you discounts and products. And it is a charitable activity and the money goes to supporting young writers. And furthermore, if you want, there is what they call swag, meaning like shirts and uh, coffee cups and other things you can buy that are great. And I have a whole collection that I wear or keep in front of me during the NaNoWriMo month. Like I said, NaNoWriMo gives you a dashboard and allows you to plot or graph 
your progress each day and over the month so you can see whether you're ahead of the curve or not. Now to get started, as I said, write every day, never edit. I like to write at least until I end a scene. Um, I write about 10 pages a chapter. Um, I write each character's main story and backstory at some point in the writing process. I flesh out the hero over time, but appearance, dress, behavior, strengths, weaknesses, habits, characteristics, traits, failings, faults. The villain is the same. And, yet, and the villain, remember, you have to give the reader a reason to like the villain, even if they despise the villain. And you have to allow the reader to see the story also from the villain's point of view. And the nice thing about a novel is you can write secondary plots and other stories. And even if they don't get in the final draft, they help your word count. NaNoWriMo suggests a pace of 1,667 words a day that will reach 50,000 in 30 days. I like to start ahead of that. Maybe write as much as 5,000 words on my first day. Gives me a bit of a cushion. Uh, but even if you fall behind, never, never stop writing. Um, because writers surprisingly can write a, a large volume of work in a single day or a week or a weekend. So never give up. And one thing I like to do is to brainstorm story ideas to help me get started. Maybe the premise of a story or what the conflict would be about who the main characters are, um, uh, maybe an opening scene, or the title of, of the, story, the novel. Now, for me, because I also do covers and interiors, what I do is I generate 10 ideas in October, and I actually create a, a draft cover for the idea, because I, I I, I like that it's fun. It helps me think about it. Um, and then in November, I choose one. So here are the last um, six years of my novel ideas. And the nice thing about this, frankly, as an author is I could always go back and do one of these in another year. So start with the premise. What is the story about? Where will it take place? Who are the main characters? Who's the villain? What, what conflict is there between the villain and the hero? What will the main character and the reader learn about himself or herself or their self in this story? Now, all stories, novels have structure. They don't have to start with rigid structure, but eventually, as you edit it in your second and third draft, you're going to impose structure. And the structures, you can think of it like this. What's the premise of the novel? Who are the characters? What's the world or setting in which the events take place? What are the various scenes of action? What is the dialogue? And what is the plot? You can also think about the story structure in the traditional three act idea, like in plays. There's an opening act, which defines the characters, what the events are that lead up to a conflict. And then your, that conflict drives you into a uh, action in act two, in which you are trying to resolve the conflict, get the girl back, kill the villain and then there is an act three there is a climax and the ending of the novel now again you don't have to worry about any of this up front but eventually you're going to be working on these so i like to think about well what is the opening act and what is going to happen in the middle of the book and maybe what's the ending but i'll tell you i'm a pantser meaning that i write by the seat of my pants and I never know the ending of a novel when I start it. But I've written 17 nano novel novels. Now, the first one that I wrote in 2004, 
I, I wrote it in 30 days, but it took me six years of editing to publish it, and it's really probably unreadable. But my last novel, Bescadero, um, I finished it again, a first draft in November. I spent three months intensively editing it, revising it, rewriting characters, fleshing out my main character, Charlie Pine, the sheriff, and his companion, Doc Holliday. And I published it in March. So from writing the novel in November, that's four months to publication. You can do that. It's all within your grasp. Now, one last word. I'm a member of Redwood Writers in Sonoma, which is a branch of the California Writers Club. And this workshop has really been sponsored by them. And we meet on the third Saturday each month. We meet at the Finley Center in Santa Rosa uh, at one o'clock. Uh, we have professional speakers. The club offers contests. We publish anthologies of collections of poetry and prose. We have a salon where people do readings. We have a writer's circle where work can be critiqued. We have a newsletter that comes up monthly and a wonderful website. So if you're interested in more information, go to redwoodwriters.org. I'm Roger Lubeck, president of the California Writers Club. Good luck with your NaNoWriMo. Thank you.